Hey everyone, I'm going to be looking at the three different versions of the Cybertruck released by Hot Wheels. So the first one here is the Hot Wheels ID. It's got a magnetic lid, opens up with a window into a nicely packaged vehicle. At the back you've got a window to the ID chip at the bottom of the car, which then used on the app. It's got a nice imaging at the front. Okay, the next version that I've got is this one, which is the Hot Wheels Green Speed 3 out of 5 Tesla Cybertruck. Lastly, we have the Hot Wheels Hot Trucks, the most recent version of the Cybertruck. And this one I actually managed to pick up locally in a supermarket. Okay, here we have the Tesla Cybertruck ID out of the package and it's a pretty heavy casting. It's got this just straight cut off, bent off the sheet, Zamac material And it's not really been, nothing's happened to it much. Although the packaging, it did give some impression that it was going to be like a kind of brushed metal. However, the real product itself, it's just untreated. So at the back, we've got this metal cyber quad, which is a really cool touch. I really like that. We've got the, the red tail light and the front one painted on and for a straight line it's pretty accurate however there are some silver kind of smudges there's a random silver smudge here on the side and just on the back here some silver bleed coming through uh, in terms of the Cybertruck itself really nicely done and yep these are the wheels so all in all I really like this. It's a very futuristic looking vehicle. Some people love it, some people hate it, but it is what it is. And for me, I like to collect cars which have a futuristic sci-fi feel to them. And this is perfect for me. So I really like this. Okay, let's have a look at the other ones. So I don't know about you guys, if you're collecting Hot Wheels, but on this, the plastic seems to have broken. It's a thinner plastic, probably in line with the sustainability policies going on, but it's very thin and it has cracked over. Uh, just something to note. So here we have the green speed version. This one, it's got a closed back cover. It's got the lines texture as on the real one and I've noticed the wheels again are slightly different I'm looking from the front okay we've got some paint that hit the mark on that in terms of the paintwork so it's not quite as smooth as it could be but just looking at them both this one is slightly higher than the other one if you look underneath Probably because this one has got the chip underneath. You can see one's got like a kind of semi-transparent cover. This one's just a plain black plastic base. Okay, let's have a look. Tesla Cybertruck made in Malaysia. And for this one, same, made in Malaysia as well. So here we are side by side. Let's have a look at the most recent one. Okay, here we have the third Cybertruck. And again, it's very similar to the green speed one. Let's put them down here. Very similar heights. Now for this one, it's a bit wobbly there. For this one, yeah, they've kind of just 
missed all of the uh, there's been some uh, bit of an ink spatter there with the silver paint all over for this one I think the windows slightly lighter than the green speed one but the main difference tell them apart are the tires so you can see the green speed one it's quite simple the hot trucks new one it's got a lot more detail in there and then compare that to the ID one the ID one's also very simple and this is yet yeah, the most complex so yeah this window for me I think it's very is a bit darker than the other you can see a bit more in this one I thought I'd show you one other Hot Wheels design which I thought looked like a Cybertruck and some of you probably might have this model and that's the Geo Terror and it looks very similar except it's just a curved domed plastic windscreen joining to the back and this is just the straight up angular so I thought I'd put that in there because it looks to me like this Geoterra is inspired by the Cybertruck. Okay, here's a turnaround for you guys so you can see all angles of the truck. I haven't bought many Hot Wheels, but this one, I definitely had to get this one. Okay, here is the green speed one. And finally, the latest Hot Trucks version. This one, when I looked in the supermarket, it was a bit disappointing to see that there was another Cybertruck in the box. However, it was completely ripped apart and the Cybertruck itself stolen. Uh, considering they're two pounds, I just thought that was a bit ridiculous. But there you go. I thought I'd just show you how I use these trucks. I love to create dioramas or stories and I've got these mini dia clone size figures which are great accessories and they're cyber trucks together. They're like some really cool sci-fi military operation going on uh, and overall yep yeah, it's a great addition to my set of both diecast and uh, for use in dioramas. Okay, that's all from me. See you next video. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. Let me know what you think, which version of the Hot Wheels Cybertruck would you buy? And subscribe for more reviews.